Frizzy haired Allie Brown here to film just a couple of videos. Um, I wanted to real quick do my photo tip Friday because honestly I didn't prepare for it and I don't have time tomorrow and I really want to keep this going. So I was asked on how to make a collage. Um, I'm assuming it's for like the photo thing and I've explained my process of printing photos on my big printer. I haven't really gone through the process of making the collage. The collage app that I use is called PicFrame and I can try to get like a better, you know, picture somewhere, but it's got like blue and green and pink on it and you just open that up. I believe it costs something in order to do different ratios. I believe the square is free, but in order to do your different ratios, you have to pay, I think it's like 99 cents or something. When you're doing a four by six print and you want the three by four, my dog keeps shaking the camera, I'm sorry. If you want the three by four, two three by fours, you go to, um, you open the thing up, first off, open the app, and you'll see pick frame, you'll see all these cute little designs. Can you see, can you see that? So, and then you'll go up to the top right, there it says one colon one. That is a one by one. That means that the length of the top is the same as the length on the side. And so you want, not one by one, because we don't want squares, we want three by two. Little fraction lesson here, you know. It's three by two, which would be, if you doubled it, six by four, or four by six. They also have here two by three if you wanted to do a vertical one. But I just do, um, if you had two landscape, like, you know, um, the, what is it, hot dog hamburger? I don't know how it goes, but landscape. Then you can use the two by three very easily. If you have the vertical pictures, the portrait, then three by two is fine. Let's do three by two. So um, you have here all your selections. If you wanted the three by four, two three by fours, you pick the one with two. You see that? And then you just tap the square, camera roll, and you pick out a couple of pictures. I'm gonna pick some pictures of some backdrops that I just took photos of on my little walk. But see, right now, they're cropping the, um, what you call it? They're, they're, they're cropping the picture because these are landscape pictures going up and down. So I could have either done the up and down version or I can go to this, tap it, and you have some options. Camera roll, take photo, effects, rotate, mirror, shape, and remove photo. If you go to rotate and just click that, doesn't matter which way, does not matter, and then go to this one over here, rotate, one way, and then there you go. But there's still borders, and I don't know about you, but I don't like borders on my photos. So I go to style down here on the bottom menu, you have frames, adjust, style, labels, share. You go to style and up top there's a little slider that says width. You can make the border cry cry over here. Come on, you see that? Isn't that crazy? That actually looks kind of, um, that's slightly attractive actually. It looks like kind of like a, a museum matted something or another. I kind of like it. <laughs> but for the sake of the tutorial, uh, we're going to go all the way down and have no borders. Okay? So you just have two pictures. And at that point, you just save it to your camera. Uh, I'm sorry. You save it to your phone and then you would use your app or email it to yourself or however I use my printer app from Canon. Uh, either I can use my selfie uh, printer or I can use the bigger printer out here. So that's how you do the two three by four photos. To do the four two by what is it? Two by threes? Yeah, two by three photos. Sorry, I was thinking for a second. To do that, you go to the frames and then you just pick simply the same ratio, three by two or two by three. Doesn't really matter. You can rotate them to suit you and you pick the four right there. See, I already, I already have two photos in there right there, and but they still did not rotate them, so I still gotta rotate them. See, rotate, there's that one. Rotate, okay. And then, actually that's upside down, but it really doesn't matter because you're gonna, you're gonna cut them and stop, slap them in your journal. Anyway, and then let's just pick two more. So you go to camera roll, um, we'll just pick whatever. Now, 
Pardon the interruption. Okay, so you have two more pictures here, and this one's a vertical one, so I want to rotate it. There we go. And this one, uh, I think, is already done. That one's already the thing. Now, you'll notice, too, I think on these ones, you can... You have to you can go up and down to see what you like them to be cropped at better. A couple things to be careful for, okay? When you're moving around your pictures trying to see what kind of what you want in that frame, be careful not to move the actual lines. Because sometimes I have just teensy weensy moved the line and it's made my pictures off where they're not like back to back. There's just a little bit of overhang. It's so annoying. And even when I check it, um, Sometimes I have overhang for some reason. I don't know why, but I try my best not to. So I just make sure and check. If you just hold your finger to kind of in the middle, it'll say 174, 174. And right here, it'll say, if you do it correctly, it should say like 116, I think. Yeah, 116, 116. So that's how you get four pictures on one four by six. And that's that. So from here, you would just hit this and you would just save it to your phone. Again, open it up in your printer app and then you are ready to go to print your little tiny pictures for your journaling and pop them in with washi tape. There's a lot of distractions today. Anyway, that is all I wanted to do for this week of the, oh my gosh, my dog, stop it, Tozer. <clears throat> of Photo Tip Friday. I'm going out of town and won't, I don't know if I'll be able to do a photo tip next week. I don't know, I hope so. But um, until the next time, have fun taking photos and get those things, get those puppies printed out and stick them in your journals. I would love to see them on Instagram or, uh, yeah, Instagram is probably the best place to tag me. Tag me on Instagram and I'll, and I'll look at that. That would be awesome. All right. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.